Good evening as I continue my reading from the book of the second kings from the Old Testament. The book of the second kings from the Old Testament of the Holy Bible, chapter 12 onwards. In the seventh year of Jehu, Jehoash began to reign and forty years reigned he in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Sibia of Beersheba. And Jehoash did that which was right in the sight of the Lord all his days wherein Jehoiada the priest instructed him. By the high places were not taken away and the people still sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. And Jehoash said to the priest, All the money of the dedicated things that is brought into the house of the Lord, even the money of every one that passeth the account, the money of every man is set it, and all the money that cometh into any man's heart to bring into the house of the Lord. Let the priest take it them, every man be his of his acquaintance, and let them repair the breaches of the house wheresoever any breach shall be found. In it was so that in three and twentieth year of King Jehoash, uh, the priest had not repaired the breaches of the house. And King Jehoash called for Jehoiada the priest and other priests, and said unto them, Why repair ye not the breaches of the house? Now therefore receive no more money of your acquaintance, but deliver it for the breaches of the house. And the priest consented to receive no more money of the people, and neither to repair the breaches of the house. And Jehoiada the priest took the chest and bored a hole in the lid of it and set it beside the altar on the right side as one cometh into the house of the Lord. And the priest that kept the door put therein all the money that is brought into the house of the Lord. And it was so when they saw that there was much money in the chest that the king's scribe and the high priest came up and they put up in bags and told the money that was found in the house of the Lord. And they gave the money being told into the hands of them that did the work, that had the oversight of the house of the Lord. They had laid it out on the carpenters and the builders that wrought upon the house of the Lord, and to masons and hewers of stone, and to buy timber and hewed stone, to repair the breaches of the house of the Lord, and for all that was laid for the house to repair it. Howbeit there was not made for the house of the Lord Bowls of silver, snuffers, basins, trumpets, any vessels of gold or vessels of silver of the money that was brought into the house of the Lord. And they gave that to the workmen and repaired with the house of the Lord. Moreover, they reckoned not with the men into whose hand they delivered the money to be bestowed on workmen, for they dealt faithfully. The trespass money and the sin money was not brought into the house of the Lord, it was the priests. Then Hazael, king of Syria, went up and fought against Gath and took it. And Hazael set his face to go up to Jerusalem. And Jehoash, king of Judah, took all the hallowed things that Jehoshaphat and Jehoram and Ahaziah, his father's king of Judah, had dedicated, and his own hallowed things, and all the gold that was found in the treasures of the house of the Lord, and in the king's house, and sent it to Hazael, king of Syria. And he went away from Jerusalem. And the rest of the acts of Jehoash, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And his servants arose and made a conspiracy and slew Joash in the house of Milo, which goeth down to Silia, Silla, and Josachar, the son of Shimeath, and Jeho Sabad, the son of Shomer, his servants, smote him, and he died. And they buried him with the fathers in the city of David, and Amasiah his son reigned in his stead. Chapter 13. In the three and twentieth year of Joash, the son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Jeho Ahz, the son of Jehu, began to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned seventeen years. And he did that was, which was evil in the sight of the Lord and followed the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which made Israel to sin. He departed not therefrom. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Jer Israel and he delivered them. <coughs> into the house of Hazael, king of Syria, and into the hand of Benadad, the son of Hazael, all their days. And Jehoahaz besought the Lord, and the Lord hearkened unto him, for he saw the oppression of Israel, because the king of Syria oppressed them. And the Lord gave Israel a savior, so that they went out from under the hand of the Syrians. And the children of Israel dwelt in their tents as before time. Nevertheless, they departed not from the sins of the house of Jeroboam, which made Israel to sin, but walked therein, and there remained the grove also in Samaria. Neither did he leave of the people of Jehoaz, but fifty horsemen and ten chariots, and the ten thousand footmen. For the king of Syria had destroyed them, and made them like dust by threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoaz, Ahaz, and all that he did, and his might are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. And Jehoahaz sept with his fathers, and they buried him in Samaria. 
and Joash his son reigned in his stead. In the thirty and seventh year of Joash, king of Judah, began Jehoash, the son of Jehoash, to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned sixteen years. And he did that was evil in the sight of the Lord. And he departed not from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebath, who made Israel sin, but he walked therein. Now the rest of the acts of Joash and all that he did, and did his might, wherewith he fought against Amaziah, king of Judah, are they not written in the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Joash slept with his fathers, and Jeroboam sat upon his throne. And Joash was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Now Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness, whereof he died. And Joash the king of Israel came down unto him, wept over his face, and said, O my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And Israel, Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took him bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Put thy hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hand upon the king's hand. And he said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot. And he shot. And he said, The arrow of the Lord's deliverance, the arrow of deliverance from Syria, that thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek, till thou have consumed them. And he said, Take the arrows. And he took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, Smite upon the ground. And he smote thrice and stayed. And the man of God was wrought with him. And he said, Thou should have smitten five or six times. Thou hast thou smitten Syria till thou hast consumed it. Whereas now thou shalt smite Syria but thrice. And Elisha died, and they buried him. And the bands of the Moabites invaded the land at the coming of the year. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, and behold, they spied a man of band of men and they cast the man into the sepulchre of elisha and when the man was let down and touched the bones of elisha he revived and stood up on his feet and hazael the king of syria oppressed israel all the days of jehoahaz and the lord was gracious unto them had compassion on them had respect unto them because of his covenant with abraham isaac and jacob and he would not destroy them neither cast he them from his presence uh, as it so Hazael king of Syria died and Ben-Hadad his son reigned in his stead and Jehoash the king of Jehoahaz took again out of the hand of Ben-Hadad the son of Hazael the cities which he had taken out of the hand of Jehoahaz his father by war three times did Joash beat him and recovered the cities of Israel chapter 14 in the second year of Joash, son of Jehoash, king of Israel reigned Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah. And he was twenty-five years old when he began to reign and reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehodan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Yet not like David his father, he did according to all the things his father Joash did. Howbeit the high places were not taken away, as that the people did sacrifice and burnt incense on the high places. And it came to pass, as the kingdom was confirmed in his hand, that he slew his servants which had slain the king his father. But the children of the murderers he slew not, according unto that which is written in the book of the law of Moses, wherein the Lord commanded, saying, The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, nor the children be put to death for the fathers, but every man shall be put to death for his own sin. He slew of Edom in the valley of salt ten thousand, took Selah by war, and called the name of Jokteel unto this day. The Namasya sent messengers to Jehoash, and son of Jehoahaz, son of Ehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, look unto one another in the face. And Jehoash, the king of Israel, sent to Amaziah, king of Judah, saying, The tissel that was in Lebanon, sent to the Seda, was in Lebanon, saying, Give thy daughter to my son to wife. And there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon, and trod down the tissel. Thou hast indeed smitten Edom, and thine heart has lifted thee up, Glory of this, and tarry at home. For why shouldst thou middle to thy hurt, that thou shouldst fall, even thou, Judah, with thee? And Amasiah would not hear. Therefore Je Jehoahaz, king of Israel, went up, and he and Amasiah, king of Judah, looked one another in the face of Beth Shemesh, which belongeth to Judah. And Judah was put to the worst before Israel, and they fled every man to their tents. And Jehoash, king of Israel, took Amasiah, king of Judah, 
the son of Jehoash, the son of Ahaziah, at Beth Shemesh, and came to Jerusalem, and break down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim unto the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took all the gold and the silver, and all the vessels that were found in the house of the Lord, and in the treasures of the king's house, and hostages, and returned to Samaria. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoash, which he did, and his might, and how he fought with Amaziah, king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the king of Israel? And Jehoash slept with his fathers, and was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. And Jeroboam his son reigned in his stead. And Amaziah the son of Joash, king of Judah, lived after the death of Jehoash, son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel, fifteen years. And the rest of the acts of Amaziah are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish. But they sent after him to Lachish, and slew him there. And they brought him on horses, and he was buried at Jerusalem with his fathers in the city of David. And all the people of Judah took Azariah, which was sixteen years old, and made him king instead of his father Amasiah. He built Elath, and restored it to Judah. After that, the king slept with his fathers. In the fifteenth year of Amasiah, the king of Joash, king of Judah, Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, began to reign in Samaria and reigned forty and one years. And he did that was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebath, who made Israel to sin. And he restored the coast of Israel from the entering of Hamath unto the sea of the plain, according to the word of the Lord God of Israel, which he spake by the hand of his servant Jonah, the son of Amittai the prophet, which was Gath Hefer. For the Lord saw the affliction of Israel that it was very bitter. Nor was there any shut up, nor any left, nor any helper for Israel. Now the Lord said not that he would blot out the name of Israel under the heavens, but he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam the son of Joash. Now the rest of the acts of Jeroboam and all that he did and his might, how he warred, how he recovered Damascus and Hamath which belonged to Judah for Israel, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the king of Israel? And Jeroboam slept with his fathers, even with the kings of Israel. And Zechariah, his son, reigned in his stead. Chapter 15 In the twenty and seventh year of Jeroboam, king of Israel began Azariah, son of Amaziah, king of Judah, to reign. Sixteen years old was he when he began to reign. He reigned two and fifty years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jecoliah of Jerusalem. And he did that was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all his father Amaziah had done, save that the high places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burned incense still on the high places. And the Lord smote the king, so that he was a leper unto the day of his death, and dwelt in several in a several house. And Jotham the king's son was over the house, judging the people of the land, and the rest of the acts of Assyria, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David, and Jotham his son reigned in his stead. In the thirty and eighth year of Azariah, king of Judah, did Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, reign over Israel in Samaria six months, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nabath, who made Israel to sin. And Shalom, the son of Jebash, conspired against him, and smote him before the people, and slew him, and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Zachariah, behold, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? This was the word of the Lord which he spake unto Jehu, saying, Thy son shall sit on the throne of Israel unto the fourth generation. And so it came to pass. Shalom, the son of Jebash, began, Jebesh, began to reign in the nine and thirtieth year of Uzziah, king of Judah, and he reigned a full month in Samaria. For Menahem the son of Gadi went up from Terza and came to Samaria, and smote Shalom the son of Jabesh in Samaria, and slew him and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Shalom and his conspiracy which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. And Menahem smote Tipsha and all that there were in, and the coast thereof from Terza, because they opened not to him, Therefore he smote it, and all the women therein that were with child he ripped up. In the nine and thirtieth year of Assyria, king of Judah, 
began Menahem the son of Gadi to reign over Israel and reigned ten years in Samaria. And he did that was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not all his days from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. And Pul the king of Assyria came against the land, and Menahem gave Pul a thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. And Menahem exacted the money of Israel, even all the mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and stayed not there in the land. And the rest of the acts of Menahem and all that he did, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahah, his son, reigned in his stead. In the fiftieth year of Assyria, king of Judah, Pekahah, the son of Menahem, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned two years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebath, who made Israel to sin. But Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, the captain of his, conspired against him, and smote him in Samaria, in the palace of the king's house, with Argob and Aria, and with him fifty men of the Gileadites. And he killed him and reigned in his room. And the rest of the acts of Pekahiah, and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the two and fiftieth year of Assyria, king of Judah, Pekah the son of Ramaliah, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned twenty-two years, twenty years. And he did that was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebath, who made Israel to sin. And in the days of Pekah, king of Israel, came Tiglath, Pileser, king of Assyria, and took Ijon, and Abelbeth, Maka, and Genoa, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Assyria. And Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Remaliah, and smote him, and slew him, and reigned in his stead, in the twentieth year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. And the rest of the acts of Pekah, and all that he did, Behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Israel uh, kings. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, began Jotan, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, to reign. Five and twenty years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Sadok. And he did that was right in the sight of the Lord. He did all according to his father, Uzziah, had done. Howbeit the high places were not removed, the people sacrificed and burned incense still in those high places. He built the higher gate of the house of the Lord, and the rest of the acts of Jotham, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to send against Judah, Resin the king of Syria, and Pekah the son of Remaliah. And Jotham slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father, and Ahaz his son reigned in his stead.